Bow wow, yo, yippee, yo, yippee, yay, guys. Pile number 40, and I'm super excited to be with you guys today. As a very special edition today, I want to go back into the Borgers. It's been now six years that we're down the line this strong mission, which is to bring financial freedom to all. And I just wanted to thank all of you guys and make a very special episode on the CHSB, on the best blockchains, and talk about, of course, the Guardians. And more importantly, talk about the last opportunity to remind ourselves our mission and how the CHSB has been a massive play for this construction of our wealth, of bringing DeFi and bringing essentially hope and wisdom. So as you guys know, my name is Cyrus Fazil. I'm the proud founder and CEO of Swissborg, always here to serve you. Community guys, there's events happening today. We're actually in going to uh, amazing uh, Crypto Valley Summit. Uh, we'll do be as with the Swiss blockchain as well uh, in Zurich tomorrow. But if not, we'll have a great event that'll be held in Brussels. Uh, Meet up in Fribourg as well next week. Uh, and there will be as well a different smart talks will happen. One this Thursday and one next Tuesday the following week. And for that, I wanted to awesomely... Uh, uh, you know, praise to the no cher uh, francophone from Brussels and as well from France here, uh, Bolon, uh, as well, Killer Supply, Gaetano. The three of you guys are rock stars. Thank you for the events that you're organizing next Saturday. Thank you as well for everything on Twitter, what you're doing. It's super cool to have the three of you guys uh, being borgers. And talking about more awesome guys. Just wanted to shout out to Alex. He just became a mentor of Coin Telegraph Accelerator, which is a great way and network to bring more super alpha deals opportunities, but as well to pass on to the one of the best in, you know best media uh, crypto industry, which is uh, Coin Telegraph, to maybe have more think articles and things how we could uh, show the vision of Swissborg to the greater people. And right away, let's talk about the market updates. As you know, there's been, we talked about Bortoberfest, Bor Bor right? Which is a great month uh, for uh, essentially Swissborg and Borgers. Uh, this is going to be a very big month, I think so, for crypto. What we're seeing in general, which is the biggest thing, is that there is a pile of money. Okay, You can see here that there's been almost a trillion dollars that since raising rates that went into money market funds. These money market funds, essentially, they're in high quality assets, non-risky assets, put it that way. And sooner or later, they're going to start to move around. And we know that. The, the very nice thing, which is quite interesting about crypto, is that we've seen this year that there's a strong decorrelation. So that means that when a crypto goes up, the market goes down or vice versa. So this shows that the crypto market is not reacting in a good way, in a correlated way to stocks. So what does that make for the super investors? It's like, oh, this is a new asset class that is a good way to essentially make sure that I have a well-diversified portfolio. So you're seeing some of the money coming in. Of course, the ETF hasn't been you know, released yet whatsoever, and this is just small amounts of money, but you're seeing smarter people getting into essentially crypto, which is something that is really, really good. Obviously, the sex volumes in September and the DEX volumes were one of the lowest ones but usually what happens when it's the lowest, people say like, oh, I could get in and probably move the market or I could get in because it's a new uh, great investment. So there's a bit of both sides, I would say, uh, with this. I want to as well uh, underline the fact that Solana has been a great mover for this. And I really want to congratulate the team uh, that's behind it. Now, if you look at the golden thematic and we look at the Web3 thematic, we saw that in average, essentially, the Web3 thematic has performed quite well in terms of altcoins, but not very well in terms of performance itself, right? Even if we picked the very good ones that did perform quite well, uh, long story short, it didn't go so well. And if you look at the thematics right now, it's quite the same thing. Since it's been launched, essentially both Bitcoin and gold itself has been losing. Uh, therefore, well, even if it's a mix of the two and it's doing quite well, as you see in the purple line, right? It has had less volatility. It has pretty much performed on par with Bitcoin and essentially on par with um, uh, with gold itself. I think that both of them assets are probably going to go up in value because essentially the BRICs are really pushing a lot of money into gold. We talked about China 
but a lot of different other countries as well, talking about de-dollarization and trying, but the dollar itself is actually index is actually getting stronger. So that's, I think, the reason why gold is not doing too well. Now let's talk about CHSB token. CHSB token has been performing extremely well for the, the past, you know, two, three weeks, two weeks, I would say, at least, or, or at least 10 days. And I think so, the strong upward and, and, and the volume is picking up, which is a very healthy sign. If you look more into uh, the, the, the heights, the, like what's behind the scenes, it's not the systematic forces of, of, of essentially being able to add more and more premiums, which is really one of the strong buy things. We saw, you know, the week before 500 plus people got into premiums, which is great. We'll talk about the one uh, this week as well, which is good. Uh, so that creates a lot of things. There's obviously the favor vaults, which pushed them, but there was a, it was a bit like a pump and dump, but that finally did create a pump. And of course there is systematic buybacks. On the selling pressure, well, there's the thematic rebalancing because it performed quite well. Uh, and then there's some of the bonuses that uh, Swissburg employees had. There were some sales, but not massively. That was just a small amount. So the, essentially, the good thing is that the Swissburg token is doing very well, the CHSB. And we have two more weeks to make this history time a big chapter for all of us. So many of you have essentially uh, tried to participate in Xborg, and a lot of people have tried to participate into uh, a favor. Less than 10% of people actually been able. So there's always more than 4,000 people that didn't get into these vaults, and 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 there will always be a first, you know, first people come for the people to serve. But I think so. We need to create more vaults that are dedicated to not only the heroes, that which is a great way for people to really get to be heroes, the top 100, top 1,000, the Pegasus Club too, but as well to you, Borgers, because you deserve it. You actually deserve to be have at least allocated vault to you based on your contribution, this real meritocracy that we always try to build. So what we want to add to here is to think is you have this hero score that's really on a monthly basis that you uh, essentially could be able to play the game very well and to get into these vaults regardless of how much wealth you have. It's really based on the behavior and how good you are. Like playing a video games, never buying any special players or any special powers, but you get to beat the best game. And that is possible. It's hard, it's a good work, but at the end, it's something, a good way that pro athletes will. And we thought about the second way, this fast pass like, like Destiny has, where you essentially get gets to the same, almost the same page as these heroes, but by showing the love that you have into the Swissborg ecosystem and you don't need to be as active as the hero, which is something that's really for pro athletes. This is more for like season athletes, but that have the wealth, that have the love for Swissborg, have this loyalty, but that just want to, want to show it on a daily basis. And for that, we thought about one of the coolest thing ever. What if, based on how much different Swissborg tokens you're holding in the app, you will be able to create your identity. And based on that identity, that could be a baby Borg or really a human cyborg, you would then have dedicated vaults right for you. That's exactly what we're thinking about. Essentially, a way that any of you guys in the next two weeks will be able to accumulate a number of Swiss Borg tokens, of CHSB, to show the last ride who gets to that race and gets to that certain level, which could be 500, for example, Swiss board tokens or 1 million above Swiss board tokens. Based on that, you will have a digital identity within Swissborg that will give you then the chance to be into dedicated vaults for these alpha opportunities. What do you think about that? I know it sounds crazy, but it's something that could work very well that not only you have your digital identity that will show you in the Swiss Borg app a cool way from the baby Borg to different other cyborgs, but more importantly, you'd be legible to have essentially dedicated vaults for all these alpha opportunities. So if you're hearing what I'm hearing, in the next two weeks, it's all about essentially readjusting its position, trying to make sure what is the right number of Swiss Borg token you want in order to get that status and to have dedicated vaults going forward where you don't need, you'll have a much stronger chances to actually finally invest into your favorite projects. So what is best blockchains? So the first thing that we really have to understand is that um, blockchains is what you're connecting, this infrastructure play. 
essentially it is what the first layer that you put tend to build different applications on. So it's a bit like if you were able to invest into internet and then all the websites that was based on this internet, you would get some incentive and some governance tokens that enable you to control this in a better way. So it's really about owning essentially the play of the future, right? Web3 is the, the beauty about Web3 is that not only you are able to have governance, but you're able to participate in individuals on the future of this technology. And when you think about going forward, like AI and all of that with, with the crazy things that are happening, don't you think that the best way to control open AI and all of these different other AI initiatives is through different blockchains to make sure that there's governance around it, that there's smart contracts that could really make sure that what is done on the internet, is, it, it has a real identity, is not violating different orders or whatsoever, and making strong rules of this? Well, this is what crypto is about, is how to give that ownership of it. And, and the best thing about this is, is a bit, you're investing into 1990s or the late 90s on all these, these blockchains that enable then all the crazy Googles and all the crazy different other Yahoo's whatsoever to be built on top of it, right? This is really the layer different thing. And this is the narrative that these blockchains have had since 2015 or 16, that most of the top ICOs, most of the top performing assets are essentially blockchains. Because even if Ethereum is a big player, is a big contender, Bitcoin as well, we know that essentially there's still other contenders that might take huge amount like Solana and other ones that might have a lot of great applications that are built on top of it. And the race is far, it's really far from saying like, no, we're pretty sure this is going to happen. Every two months in blockchains, we know that thing in crypto, sorry, things, if it changes a lot. So the best of blockchain is really there to capture the best essence of all of these different protocols that enable once more to give guidance to the decentralized world that we are going to be living and we are building currently. Now, if you look into the different components that is in the best blockchain thematic, you see essentially that there are four different classes. There is the top layer, which is essentially top layer zero, which is really the foundation. So if you look at the top layer zero, essentially is how to, is how investing into the soil, right? Then the top layer ones essentially is how you're able to build the first, uh, the cement that's on it. And then the top layer twos essentially is how you build the railways or how you build the busways or the things that connected the buses, the airplanes, whatsoever. So you have essentially these three different layers that give the infrastructure in order to then create essentially a different world that is decentralized. So these are very, very important. And then the last is moonshots. So there's the one that will emerging undervalued projects that could go bananas, right? That the CHSB could go like 10x or the stacks could go maybe 20x. Right? These are tokens that have more volatility, but they have potentially a much higher upside that goes with it. So this is really what the best blockchain is about. It's very similar to what has happened into the Web3, uh, but essentially has repositioned itself in a better way, in a way that people really can understand it. I think so what is very important as well, you've seen like, for example, Aptos has replaced Tezos, for example, because we believe that Aptos right now has much more a, a, a better thing that essentially that Tezos is having, right? So we recalibrate in, in the best way that investment team has a quantitative analysis and qualitative analysis to really try to fight or fight, figure out what are the best ones going forward. What I'd like to, to express this here, which is very important, it's that um, not only this is well-designed in terms of picking the right tokens, but the allocation will as well de differ based on essentially, are we going to a bull cycle or not? If we're not in a bull cycle not yet, then there's, a, there's chances that there's a strong allocation that will go essentially to Bitcoin, Ethereum. However, if this starts as showing a very good bullish signs, there's a very strong chances that they'll reduce essentially the top holdings of Bitcoin and Ethereum to go in different, different outs. Like that, it'll have more volatility, but much more upside. Where if right, right now we're positioned, well, it's safer to have more Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is something that is really good. So, so what you need to think about here is that there's fresh tokens that comes out of the best blockchain. There's a clear purpose that really enables you to understand like what is the best blockchain out of it. 
There's better automation of the reallocation, which is which is, hasn't been done in the past, which is something very new. And the best of all of that is that there's less fees. So I believe that this is really a long-term play that people should understand. This is something that I personally invest. Of course, there's a high risk to any investment that you guys have, which is 100% sure. Uh, and But what is really, really good that when you buy one or just you buy a basket that recalibrates and that reallocates, there's a stronger chance that this will be less volatile in the long run, and therefore you might have a better experience. So all in all, I, I think that this is something that uh, is good. As you can see, if you were backtesting this, it has had a good strategy, and hopefully uh, back backtesting strategies doesn't mean this is to be the future, just to be very clear about that. But at least you showed that this investment thesis does make sense. So last and not least, invest in the best blockchains with 0% buy fees until 10th of October. So please enjoy it and uh, you won't regret it. Chart of the week, which is very interesting since the debut of the, the, debut of the app, we saw a lot of CHs being the beginning. That's lower a little bit, but we're hoping to see a little bit more signs. If not, obviously the big concentration then here has been Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you see Bitcoin here essentially in yellow, you see Ethereum in orange. And then we saw some Web2 thematic that Sir the launch has been doing quite well. And the Golden thematic very well in the first month of the launch, but has been a little bit doing a little bit more and more on the long run. Um, but uh, we hope we see more emphasizes there. Uh, overall, which is interesting, is that people are behaving in a smart way with concentration on the four big tokens and the Golden thematics, uh, and as well, the hopefully, the best of blockchains. <laughs> CHSB results for the Guardians is happening in a town hall meeting on the 4th of October at 5.30. So check it out. You'll see it on YouTube. <laughs> Weekly in CHSB data, 15% up for Swissboard token, which is fantastic. 328 new premiums, 150,000 plus people in the app, which is really good. So more people to be in the, at the CHSB token holders after the last two weeks. Which brings us to the community index was 5.3 last week. Today, it's slightly lower. But nevertheless, it's still very high for her this time. Essentially, the social act activity went lower with favor. Obviously, it was a great, crazy one. And the invitation a bit lower too. But all in all, it's been great. Uh, so thank you for this. What can I say, guys? Uh, this is something new. A uh, new way to rank, essentially, Borgers into different identities that will enable you to finally not only get your cool, essentially, image within your app, but able to get, finally get dedicated vaults for the alpha opportunities, something that I think so a lot of people have been asking. So this is the last two weeks. It's it starts now, uh, and uh, essentially on October seventeenth during the swap, there will be uh, an image that will be snapshot of your holdings, and that snapshot will essentially enable you to get to these different identities. The identities haven't been real yet. Of course, there was Kilo Supply put over there, but I don't think so we're going to be using that one. Uh, but you got the idea. It's going to go from Baby Borg to the uh, the God Borg or whatever it is. And it's going to go from uh, a small amount of CHSB tokens, probably like from 500 CHSB to uh, a million plus. And this will give you identity and, and more importantly, will give you a lot of love going forward. So I hope you like this idea. As always, be healthy, be wealthy, love our CHSB and equity. Take care, guys. Bye. Through Swissborg, all assets will have a fiat gateway. And here is the thing. Premium features gives you zero fee trading. It's an amazing fiat gateway.